Hello everyone, my name is Michael from Polygon Island, and today I'm going over Screen Space Global Illumination on Eevee. You might be thinking to yourselves, Eevee doesn't have Screen Space Global Illumination. It does now. There's an add-on for it. It got released a few months ago. I'm late to it, but I'm covering it anyway, just so if people don't know about it, they can know about it. So, let's get right into it. So, in the first link in the description, will take you to this Gumroad page. Now, this Gumroad page is where you're going to download the add-on. So... Basically, the add-on is completely free. You don't have to pay anything, but I highly recommend donating because it is a really, really good um, add-on. So, uh, if you want to get it, just type zero and then click I want this. Type in your email address and it'll give you directions to download it. Download it, and then how to install it is you would basically just... Let me enter my email. So, just click view content, and then you have these like different stuff. Uh, this is the latest version. You can click download, and then it'll download it. Um, find the folder to where you have it, just to know where you have it at. And what we need to do is go to file, and then not file, edit, edit, and then preferences, and then add-ons, and then click install, and then go to wherever you downloaded it at. Find the zip file. It's SSGI 0.1. whatever version is the latest, and then click it. And now once you have it, you can look up SSGI for Eevee, and the version is 0.1.3. Now normally when you install it, you'll just be brought up to this menu immediately. You don't have to search it in. Just click the check mark. It'll be like this. Click the check mark and then click Save Preferences. But I already have it installed. I just updated it. Um, and so yeah, now it's, now it's installed. So if you click N, you now uh, to bring up your toolbar, you now have a new tab called SSGI. This is where um, everything will be, and everything's like everything will be like here and stuff. It's where everything is going to be. I just said that like four times, but you get the point. Uh, so I'm gonna set up a very simple scene. I'm gonna be in Eevee, obviously. I'm gonna set up a very simple scene of a plane and a ball. Like pretty much everyone in the universe does. I'm gonna just make this ball like this. Put it on the ground. Maybe get a few subdivisions. Like this. Click apply. Shade smooth. And I'm just gonna click the basic EV settings. Ambient occlusion. Bloom. Uh, screen space reflections. And turn off half res trace. Now if we view an EV. We can see what EV looks like. Um, this is what EV looks like. You can see the shadows are pretty harsh and everything. Um, but what you'll notice is if I go to cycles and render the same scene, you can see down here, right here, the back part where the light isn't hitting isn't completely dark. It's reflecting the light from the plane. Now, if I give this plane a material and then change what it is, you can see that light is reflecting off of it. Um, that's how screen space global illumination works. Now, if we go back into Eevee to, for comparison, we can see that that doesn't happen. It's just basically dark. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to click on our sphere and then just give it a material and then give it a, uh, give it a, uh, roughness of like still 0.5 probably. Uh, just give these guys the same material and then click add SSGI. Now, when you click add SSGI, you have to give it a second to compile the shaders. But once it compiles the shaders, you can see that we now have SSGI. So, uh, this is real time. Um, you can move around everything. It still renders pretty fast. But you can see now we have this, like, stuff right here. We can s Like, we have reflections from the plane under it. So that's pretty cool, and you can also see that if I uh, change the color of it, it is also reflecting the same color, so it's not just adding a fake light or anything. Um, but yeah, you can change the intensity of it if you want to. Um, I would probably change the intensity to maybe like 0.5 or something, just to kind of get rid of those little artifacts down here. Um, just something like this. Uh, SSGI settings, you can change all these settings. I'm going to be honest, I'm not even going to pretend to know what all these settings do. You can pretty much just like do everything you want to. Baking, if you want to bake your lighting into the scene, you can do all this. Um, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to give another comparison. Well, actually, I'm going to do that next. 
If we go into shading, uh, we can see that our principal BSDF has changed to a new node group uh, called SSGI underscore principled. If we click this and then hit tab, we can go into our nodes. So if you know about nodes, you can probably look into this and find this pretty interesting. I don't. I don't know any. I know. I know barely anything about nodes themselves. I just know texturing nodes. That's it. But um, if you understand this, then like you can dive into it, change some stuff, do whatever you want, pretty much. But now with that said, I'm gonna hop into a new scene that's a lot more complicated and show you guys what this can do. So here it is, the classroom scene, the scene that was on the Gumroad page showcasing this. So if we view this in cycles like the scene was pretty much meant to be, we can see how it looks. Looks pretty good. Uh, everything's nice, the lighting's nice. You have all kinds of like different stuff in here. Scene looks pretty good. Um, pretty well made scene. Everything looks great. We go into Eevee and all these settings are on and stuff. We go into Eevee and what happens is once the shaders compile, it doesn't look that great. Um, it really doesn't look that great at all. Um, yeah, the glass over here is black. I think that's just the Eevee setting, but yeah, it doesn't look very good. It looks okay, but it doesn't look anywhere near as good. But if we go to the SSGI tab and then click click add SSGI and then wait for the shaders to compile so the shaders have finished compiling and you can pretty much see instantly that the scene looks a lot better um, you can mess with some of the SSGI settings by going to SSGI and you can change the intensity um, zero obviously there's no like real like anything um, and you can go to SSGI settings and then you can add a Fresnel if you want um, just stuff like that. You can change the thickness of it if you want. Um, blend to SSR. I don't really know what that does, but yeah. Um, that's pretty much what that does. Uh, you can bake your lighting and stuff. Um, you can disable it. So this is what it looks like completely disabled, and this is what it looks like enabled. So it looks a lot better. Um, it's still not near what Cycles is but you can change the intensity and stuff um, change uh, like the scatter and stuff and you can change the roughness of the diffuse materials um, so this obviously makes everything a lot more like glossy and a lot more like reflective so uh, you can keep it like that or you can change it up uh, this lets more light into the scene basically um, so, I know it says roughness, but it's not really, like, changing the roughness of the materials themselves. Because you'd be able to see if that, like, stuff was reflective. It's not. So, um, yeah, you can change this to let more light into the scene and stuff. So, yeah, uh, this is basically what this add-on does. Um, it just adds SSGI. It's really useful um, to get more, like, realistic renders out of Eevee. Um, it's still not like nearly as good as cycles because cycles is obviously ray traced it's actually calculated through like rays shooting out of the camera light bounces and everything ev doesn't do that ev's real time um and this is an actual subsurface global illumination this is like simulated ssgi so the fact that it can even be And so the fact that it can even be like recreated with like nodes and stuff, that's really just like something. Um, so if you have any spare money, please donate to the creator of this. Um, he really deserves it. But anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.